Hi, is this the de Vasconcellos house? Who wants to know? I could tell the old coup was going to be trouble. My name's George Stobart. I was wondering whether... The house is not open to the public. This is the de Vasconcellos house. And what business is that of yours, senor? Look, all I want is to speak to the head of the household. There is no household. Only the countess and myself. What do you know about the Templars? Who wants to know? Are you angling for a bribe or something? You have nothing that I want, senor, except the pleasure of your absence. The guy was obviously protecting the countess against the whole world. But why? Tell me about the Countess de Vasconcellos. She doesn't receive guests. That's all you need to know. You don't even know what I have to talk to her about. She hasn't won the lottery, has she? No, she hasn't won the lottery. A more cunning man might have claimed that she had. Oh, yeah? They might have, might they? And that more cunning man would have been kicked off the premises. The Countess doesn't do the lottery. Do you recognize this man? No. Okay. Well, I'll see you around. Adios. My hose has stopped. Yeah? See, my hose never stops. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. It's always sad when an old tradition comes to an end. Did you have anything to do with it? See, you. Well, I'm shocked. I'm mortified. How could you think such a thing? Very easily, senor. Very easily. I'm going to find out why my hose has stopped. And that means going into the house. You are not, absolutely not, to go in the house. If you do go in the house, I will set the dogs on you. I hid behind the armor and waited for developments. Hey, you. I know you are there, American. All right, you dogs, I'm coming. Madre Dios, who are you? My name's George Stobart. I'm sorry to burst in like this. You must leave at once. You're not wanted here. Please, if you just listen a minute. Very well. State your business, Senor Stobart. There's been a series of murders, part of some conspiracy. Anyway, the trail led me here. Here? There is nothing for the outside world here. Over 600 years ago there was. What do you mean? This whole thing ties in somehow with the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar are dust. They had a secret that was so important, they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. 
And I do not see what this has to do with my family. Your family had a strong connection with the Templars, right? I believe that they've planted some clues here. <laughs> Why should I believe a, a complete stranger who barges into my home? Just let me have a look around. If I find nothing... Uh, you'll be spending the night at the police station. Very well. Please, sit down. Thank you. I know your family is involved with the Templars, but I don't know how. You should be asking how my family were involved, Senor Stobart. The Templars ceased to exist centuries ago. And as for the De Vasconcelos, the line dies with me. I'm sorry. Don't be. Okay. Whatever happened, happened almost 700 years ago. So, if the Templars left any clues, they're going to be in stuff that dates back to the early 14th century. Obviously. So, what do you have around here that's early medieval? Early medieval. Let me think. Well, the house is relatively modern, a scant three centuries old. Or, of course, the chess set. That chess set is over 600 years old? It must be worth a fortune. Indeed it is. Not that I would part with it, of course. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, that's the sort of thing that gets handed down to your children. Sorry. Its value is less than you might think. The set is not complete. One of the pieces is a modern replacement. As to the original, it was lost a long time ago. Nobody has any idea where it is? No. The children had it when they were taken. Children? What children? All in good time, Senor Stobart. May I examine the chess set? Certainly, but do not move any of the pieces. Okay, thanks. Close up, the modern piece stood out like a sore thumb. There was something else odd about the set. All of the original pieces had irregular bases. My lady, I have to warn you, there's a... You! Why, I'll feed you to the dogs. Lopez, what have I told you about feeding intruders to the dog? But, my lady... Never without my permission. Senor Stobart, if I find that you're wasting my time, you will be fed to the dogs. Now, I want to show you something interesting. Follow me. Lopez, unlock the door, Popapo. This is the only remaining structure on the estate contemporary with the Templars. Nice. What is it, a summer house? A mausoleum, Senor Stobart. Oh. Come with me. Hey, Senor. Yeah? I do not know what you have told my lady to be shown these favors. But I do not trust you. You've got nothing to worry about. Aren't you coming in? No, the dead do not interest me. My garden is a living thing. I will be there. Wow, this is old was constructed in the 13th century as the final resting place for the De Vasconcelos Templars. It's well maintained. These are my ancestors, and they deserve respect. I come here at least once a week to say a prayer for them. Mind if I have a look around? By all means. It was too delicate to move. A big statuette of the Virgin Mary kept an eye on the place. On removing the Bible, I found a pattern on the lectern top. Hey, it's a checkerboard. Close up, I could see that the pattern was made up of glass squares over a checkerboard pattern. Some of the squares had little jagged holes in the middle.
I wasn't about to start heaving at sarcophagus lids with the countess standing there. Hanging from the ceiling was a huge yellowed candle. It looked really old and had never been lit. May I ask you something? You may ask. Who exactly are these people? My ancestors. These five men were all members of the Templars. Five ancestors in the Order. You must be very proud. Not five. Six. Where's the sixth knight? He was lost to us. You lost an ancestor? It is a family matter. It can have no relevance. Well, it's connected with the curse of the Devasconcellos, isn't it? Yes, it is. I hope you will honor my desire not to talk about it. Okay. Well, I'll leave it for now. Is the Virgin Mary really the right person to be sharing a mausoleum with five knights? You are showing your ignorance, Senor Stobart. The Templars were dedicated to the Virgin Mary. That's a big candle. Where would you buy a thing like that from? You could not. It is an antique, unique to my knowledge. Just how old is it? It dates from the Middle Ages, when the Moors controlled Spain. The candle was to be lit as a signal to the estate workers if the Moors attacked. What's the story with the glass chessboard? Glass chessboard? Oh, the pattern on the lectern, purely decorative, I'm sure. There are pieces of glass missing from it. Oh, it has been like that since I was a girl. You certainly know your history. What's your opinion of the Templars, Senor Stobart? The Templars? Well, they seem no worse than a lot of the knightly orders. Uh, you are mistaken. Compared to the simpering politicians of the Hospitallers or the Brutish Teutonics, the Knights Templar were the embodiment of chivalry. The filthy, money-grabbing French king and his pet pope did a great wrong. A bane settled upon my family at the whim of that self-seeking tyrant. It was all a long time ago. Some things don't die. Injustice is one of them. The gaps in the glass chessboard look awfully deliberate. No, it is ridiculous. What possible significance can it have? It's part of a chessboard. And the gaps are for... Senor Stobart. You cannot mean... This place was built for the Templars. Your chess set is as old as the Templars. It's kind of suggestive, isn't it? I think this must be it. This is what the manuscript is pointing to. This is extraordinary. Am I to understand that the Templars left a puzzle here? And in all of this time, we failed to realize that there was a puzzle? It was wonderful to watch the Countess change before my eyes. Right. Well, no time for wallowing in self-pity, eh, Senor Stobart? This mystery has had a good long run, but it ends here and now. All those years of fatalism were falling away from her. Lopez! Lopez! Put that hold down and listen! Go to the house and get my chess set! Yes! The old chess set! Oh, damn the game! Now hurry! Oh, my! This is exciting, is it not? Don't get too excited. I, this could be a blind alley. Oh, I do not believe that for a moment. It's good to see you happy. Happy? <laughs> you know, I think I am. While we're waiting, I'd really like to know what happened here. I mean, the curse and everything? It all began at the time of the dissolution of the Templars. Don Carlos had already left their ranks to become a scholar. Don Carlos? Is he the guy who went missing? See, si. uh, but he had reckoned without a local bishop. 
Their bishop envied us our land and determined to use the papal edict as an excuse to destroy us. Don Carlos was on one of his scholarly journeys when the Inquisition arrived. When Don Carlos returned, it was to find his loyal manservant slain and his children gone. They took the kids? But why? Oh, we will never know. The bishop denied all knowledge of the children's disappearance. But witnesses had seen his men kill the servant who had been charged to protect them. What happened to Don Carlos? Uh, he swore he'd find his children if he had to go to the edge of the world. He put on his armor and took up his sword and shield and rode out alone. He was never seen again. Ah, Lopez, you have the pieces. See, si, my lady, as you asked. Por favor, Senor Stobart, would you be so kind? My lady. Calm yourself, Lopez. I believe Senor Stobart's motives are pure. Very well, my lady. My lady seems to trust you. But you don't. No, Senor. It fits, Senor Stobart. It fits. Working quickly, I found which pieces went into which holes. Senor Stobart, look! What is that? It's not... It's not the Holy Grail, is it? No, Senor Stobart. It is the communion chalice of the De Vasconcelos. Missing for almost 700 years. Wow! Well, go on. I... I cannot. I can hardly believe it is real. Ah, uh, go ahead. Live a little. Are you sure? This is your moment of triumph, Senor Stobart. Sure, I'm sure. The possibility of death traps only occurred to me a few days later. So the curse of the De Vasconcellos is lifted? Oh, no. The Countess was thrilled to find the lost chalice, but there's still the riddle of the missing knight. Well, you can forget about that now and get back to finding the Templar's secret. Uh, actually, I promised the Countess I'd find Don Carlos. You what? I can explain everything. You have got the odds for a withered old Spanish aristocrat? The Countess entrusted me with the chalice and the quest for her ancestor's tomb. You're as crazy as she is! Haven't you got enough problems? Khan and the Templars? It's all part of the same thing. The chalice is important, I'm sure. The manuscript pointed us to the knight, and I have to find him. What then? I don't know. But when the knight and the chalice are reunited, maybe I will. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Hi, André. Hello, Georgie. Where have you been? Nicole said you were away. I just returned from Syria. Syria? On the trail of the Templars? 
It's a long story, but I found the bull's head. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Yes, uh, what is it? A secret cave built into a high cliff face. In the cave, I discovered a map bearing a phrase in Latin. In Occidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. The island of Britain. Lies at the edge of the world, to the west. Strange, that map seems to contain a series of pointers. Like I said, it's a treasure map. What do you make of this cup, André? It's a 14th century communion vessel. Spanish, probably. You sure know your onions. Thanks for your help, André. You're welcome.